What's up guys, today I'm going to be showing you Trey's double jump plugin. It's a very lightweight double jump and fly plugin uh, that works on 1.7 through 1.12, so a lot of different versions. So if you're using like a protocol hack or uh, an older version like 1.8, this should work on it without any problems. So basically all it does is allow a user to double jump or fly with a command. So just download it here, put it in your plugins directory and then run the server once and then stop the server and then you can edit the config file. I already ran it once just to save you know the few seconds of time. So once you uh, have it running or have ran it and it generated the configuration files just open that file. Now before I start the one thing I am a little bit confused about um, with it is that there's two different sets of permissions and I don't know if the author just forgot them forgot to add it you know say here and over here but uh, like on this page on the github it's missing this command so I don't know if you know it's just like if you missed it or if they don't work but I don't have a permissions plugin installed currently to test it out so I'm just gonna walk you through the permissions very easily I mean they're self-explanatory uh, tdg tda tdj dot star will give you all the permissions default as operator if you want to be able to use the plugin uh, you need tdj.use if you want to disable it for a person all you need to do is give them the permission like put a dash in front of the permission and you can disable the use the sounds particles and no fall uh, permissions now if you have no cheat plus installed you want to give them TD, tdj.no cheat plus or ncp and then if you want to disable sounds or particles you can give them these two um, if you want to allow people to do slash fly, you need to have this command that just allows them to fly around like they're in creative, but if they're in survival or anything else. So the only other permission I believe that's not listed is uh, tdj.command, uh, and that allows you to either enable or disable the double jump feature, although it is a little bit glitchy in my opinion. So the only the two commands that you have are slash tdj and then slash fly. It's very lightweight. So the next part in the configuration is just the messages. This is allows you to uh, configure how the messages look and display when people type stuff in. I'll leave a link in the description to a uh, color code you know uh, list if you don't know what those are in Minecraft yet. I'm assuming you do though. And I'm not going to edit any of those just for the sake of time. So flight. Uh, this either, if you disable this, it disables uh, people allowing to do slash fly, so it dis disables the flight in the plugin, uh, not the actual double jump itself. Uh, velocity, it allows you to change the uh, like momentum, I believe, or the velocity. So if you change that to 2, it will go faster, and if you change up, like upward, it'll change like how high they go, uh, which we can edit in a little bit, maybe. Uh, sounds. Sounds and particles are basically the same, except for this last part. So I'm just gonna walk through one of them. So if you want to enable the sounds or disable the part or disable the <laughs> enable or disable them, just eat, make this true or false for sounds and particles. The default is true. Now, if you want to uh, change what, like if you don't like the bat sound, which I'll show you in a minute, um, that def that plays by default or the explosion particle that plays by default, you can change them with these two links in the description. So I'll leave you two links, and the first one is the sound. So all you have to do is find a sound you like. So like if you like this entity, village, or hurt, just copy this and paste it over this. Same thing with uh, particles. You just want to use the particles uh, list for that. Now I wouldn't suggest messing with uh, this RGB and amount because when I was messing with RGB, I assumed it was for color, to change the color of the particles itself, but when I edited it, it just uh, like made the particles go in a weird direction. Um, the amount is the amount of particles that spawn. I think they spawn in the same spot, because so, I've tested like putting 20, and it doesn't really seem to do anything crazy, at least on the particles I've tested, but it might do something more. All players is, I'm assuming, uh, if it if the particles display for everybody else there's no configuration like file or tutorial on his wiki page so I don't know for sure but that's what I'm assuming it does I don't have another person do test with me 
enabled worlds is whatever worlds you want it to be enabled in. So if you like, uh, like have a plot me world, you just, you know, add it at the bottom, plot me, or creative, you know, and so on. Whatever your world name or world file is called. So now once we're done editing that, we'll just save that. And we will actually start the server first. If I can start it. Don't know why I didn't do that first, but start it and then join your server. If you need any help, uh, or in general, you know, with anything, just join the Discord server. I'll have a link in the description. And uh, let's time set zero first. Or any plugin requests, just leave a comment or put it in the Discord server. Okay, so by default, double jump is just, you know, just double tap space and it jumps around. And my game is really, really weird looking right now. But anyway, so you double tap to jump. And then, so the two commands are slash, uh, TDJ, I believe, yeah. So I disabled my double jump, so now I'm double tapping space, and it's not working. Not working, so if I, you know, type it again, it's enabled, but, it, okay, that worked first. Uh, sometimes it doesn't work for a few seconds, so just kind of jump around and change the blocks, and then it works. Um, if you want to fly, then, just type slash fly, and then you can fly around. And then disable it with slash fly. If you disable it in air, it seems like you're still flying, though. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so if you disable flight, you're still flying until you stop on the ground. So just so you know, it might be a little bit. But that's that, and I believe that is everything. Actually, I will show you that you can change the sounds real quick. For some reason, if you don't believe me. Okay, so we'll just go to the sounds, and we'll take... Um, uh, what do I want to take? Let's like something, we'll do like a chest sound. We'll do chest open. So I'll just replace this with the block chest open. Oh, I don't think I covered these, but volume and pitch just allow you to change the volume, volume and pitch. So if you change it to 100, it'll be a lot louder. Same with the pitch, it will just adjust the pitch. So if I do reload, and I jump, now there's a chest on. So then if I want to show you the volume, if I change it just to like 100, and reload again, now it's a lot louder. So yep, that's basically it. That's the plugin. Very lightweight, very kind of easy to set up, very fast. Uh, if you have any plugin tutorials or suggestions, either leave them in the Discord, which will be in the description that you can join, or leave a comment. Thank you, and I'll see you guys later.